Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got my very first money play for you guys of Madden 22. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a run play that I probably first put out maybe five years ago. It's still one of the better run plays in the game, and I'm having a ton of success with it so far early in the Madden 22. So, as always, if you guys want to see more plays like this, make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Also, if you like the new setup that I'm doing, uh, I'm trying to uh, come out of my shell a little bit and be on camera. Do me a favor, hit the like button just to show support. I really appreciate that. Or subscribe if you're new. If this is the first time you're seeing my channel, that'd be awesome too. Other than that, so let's get right into the video. So the scheme I'm going to show you guys today is going to be out of the 49ers playbook. It's really only two run plays, and you probably only have to make two or three reads. But if you make these reads, you will have success pretty much every time you run these plays because it's a super easy uh, series of run plays. The 49ers playbook, by the way, is going to be the first ebook that I put out. Hopefully, I will have this ebook out in a couple of days. I'm, I already said I'm going to have my first ebook out before the end of the month. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to use the rest of my play trial demo just to record the uh, the plays for the 49ers. It was my biggest ebook last year. It'll probably be my biggest this year. There's a lot of new plays, a lot of new stuff uh, that I'm excited about. Let me know what uh, team playbooks you guys want me to get out first, as always, and what team playbooks you guys want me to focus on in my videos, as always. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite playbooks are. Now, the formation I'm going to focus on today is the I-Form Close. This was one of the meta formations not too long ago, maybe three or four Maddens ago, and it's something that is always a good formation. The run play that I like the most is definitely the Power O. This particular play here, it's I don't typically run Power O's as is. I find it's best to run it kind of like a trap play, and I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. But ultimately, this is one of my favorite run plays every year. It's always one of my go-tos. It's always one of my plays that I, that I pull out of my bag. Uh, and then the other play would be the halfback stretch, which everybody here would pretty much be familiar with. The halfback stretch is going to be an outside run, where the power row is going to be treated more like an inside run, uh, just as long as you make the reads accurately. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them both into my audibles because I want to be able to make a read and switch in and out of them. If you guys don't know, you just have to hit the left trigger or the L2 button on PlayStation, and you can set that up. I'm not really going to deal with the pass plays. If you guys want to see some pass plays uh, in, a, in another video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I will have them recorded on my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab um, if you guys are members there so check for that there other than that let's go and let's get right into the play on defense i'm gonna pick random four three basically to make this read it's really simple i'm just looking for one of two things number one on the strong side where the tight end is if my tight end is wider than the furthest uh, inside linebacker, outside linebacker, or safety, I typically will go with the stretch if I have outside contain like that. Here I have that, but I also have the better play, which is the defensive end on the left side is spread really far from the defensive tackle. So that is really what I want because the, the power O is going to be the better play of the two, in my opinion. So all you really have to do is switch, pick that play, and then flip it with the right stick. Now you can see right here, it looks like it's aiming right at that defensive end but ultimately that defensive end is going to get blown out of the play uh, by the blocking you could also i mean a lot of times the stretch is not bad to the weak side but that's typically if that defensive end is inside a little bit so like i said flip the play with the right stick that's all i'm really going to do and you're going to see how that defensive end he's going to take himself out of that play he's going to get washed out of that play typically by either the tackle or the fullback or sometimes even the guard and then um, that's pretty much how the play is going to run i'm going to run right between the defensive end the defensive tackle where there's that huge lane and you're gonna see how this play just sets up perfectly like right there now there I almost over pursue as you can see we get a pretty good run there what I get like 15 yards before you, anybody even touched me and that's basically the point of this play it's a really good play when it comes to um, inside runs like I said I treat it like an inside run even though it looks like the diagram is kind of like an outside run I don't really treat it that way I treat it like an inside run right here you can see how this defensive end gets washed out of the play it's the fullback who makes the play there as you can see he just basically lets him take himself out of the way and he just carries him out of the play and then I just basically have a really easy run right behind the pulling guard who then becomes my lead blocker. He basically becomes, um, you know, like the fullback would have been. But ultimately, I, I mean, this is something where, um, you know, I almost over pursued him. That was my, that's what I was saying. You have to wait for that blocker to come around. I got a 97 speed running back and that lineman's probably like a 60 speed. So that's something where if you have faster linemen, it'll help. Uh, but ultimately, you have to be uh, conscious not to over pursue that pulling uh, blocker. So we're going to do that again. Like I said, this here, this is there's no real gaps. This is a really easy read. There's no gaps inside. The best thing that I could do here is definitely going to be the stretch. I have a cover three, so I have a safety right behind that outside linebacker. So I don't really like it running at strong side here. So I'm typically going to once again, you can flip it if you go against something like this where you see you have you have uh, you know the the safeties in, in the box and you have the uh, the linebacker there. It's going to be best to try to flip it. 
and you're going to hope that your fullback can get out in front of you and basically make that block. And you can see right there, it works out pretty well. The, the stretch, in my opinion, it's not necessarily the better of the two plays, but it's still a, a good counter. This is a perfect look for just a straight stretch because that tight end has outside contain over that defensive end or linebacker. Typically, it's in this particular situation, it's going to be a defensive end. Uh, and he's basically going to act as a double team. If he doesn't get off that double team, it might be a little bit of an issue because then the safety and the cornerback are going to, there was only one blocker left, the receiver. That's the only thing. I probably would, uh, you know, if, if Kittle can get off that double block and get down to the second level, get to the safety, it'd be great. But otherwise, my expectation for this play is probably going to be a little bit less than it normally would be. And I probably would have had something there. I was just sprinting too much. Uh, but I still got five yards. So I'm making something out of nothing. It's still a good play. Here's another play. This one here, once again, you got that guy. He's way too far outside. So this is the best case scenario to try to get that other guy who's closer to the line. Basically flip it, run it as a stretch play. And now you can see there's just nothing out here. So it's a really simple read. These are, you know, we're going to get a, probably our biggest run of the video. And I think that's a good run to end it on. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more plays out of this uh, particular scheme, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team. Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.